Welcome back guys, episode 3, and we are going to You've arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. Where can I find this man? Quinn will meet you in his offices at Soka Cape Quarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I'm to be your liaison here on Marmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. By all means, go ahead. 
Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There was a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. The Republic cannot be tolerated. I agree, my lord. It is my dream to see our enemy vanquished. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Carr's Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Tell me again about this Padawan. We tortured a Republic agent and learned of the existence of a Jedi Padawan under the tutelage of my nemesis, Master Noman Carr. This Padawan has the ability to know the true nature of any being. She sensed darkness in my spy on Palmora. Thus far, the Jedi are skeptical of her power. But if his Padawan is validated, Noman Carr will have the weapon he needs to destroy everything I have built. Do I sense fear in you, Master? Only a fool is placid when faced with a true threat. As long as it does not destroy you. Fear can be useful, Apprentice. My spy is Commander Ryan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. Why can't the lieutenant do that? Don't second guess me. If I thought Imperials could handle this, I wouldn't be bothering you with it. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate.
displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed.
I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed, I will detonate once you are a safe distance. First, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander <coughs> Ryan. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermot. He is Ryland's son, and the commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign Dermot must be silenced permanently. Rylan was foolish to tell his son. The one chink in his otherwise flawless armor. <coughs> I signal quick to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater outpost. Awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has been tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be headed there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. What can you tell me about the mysterious agent? She appears to be investigating one of the Republic's own, a Commander Rylan. I'm instructed to keep close tabs, but stay out of her way. I've managed to slice the security you'll need to breach the crater outpost. Transmitting it now. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything.
pinto.
It's nice to find a little oasis in the middle of all this crazy.
Nobody better mess with us now. Pipe down, Dermat. There's something going on outside. I'm trying to listen. Oh, come on, Six. Throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will you? Fine, fine. Stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing! Alright, oh. oh. alright. I ain't proud. I give. My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? say was, I'm ready to die. Oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. That's right. I'm Sith. Hmm. Like I couldn't tell you a bad news the moment I saw you. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest look like. Finally, a fight worthy of me. Come on, man. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. <laughs> Get 
Six. Six. Come on, talk to me, Six. Get up, man. Look at me, Ensign Dermot. But if I don't look, then do they... Maybe you're not really here. And oh, last I looked. Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic, the Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. Let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm, I'm a rock. Even if that were true, I couldn't take the chance. Come on, you're, you're, you're Sith. Live on the edge a little. You can take it. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may maybe the apple fell off the tree. I, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that. Please, please don't kill me. It's not personal. Orders are orders. That, that doesn't make me feel any better. Ah! Ah. Ah. Poor fool. Not sure we've ever come across anyone so useless. Not everyone can be as talented as you, Fed. A compliment. I'll take it. It smells awful in here. Let's move on, shall we? be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. If anything, you should overestimate my capabilities. If you don't mind, I am going to attempt to be as accurate as possible. Lord Barris is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. You have been most helpful. I'll be right here if needed, my lord.
I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. Wait a minute. Let me pinch myself. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. Do I have a choice in the matter? I like that idleness makes you disagreeable. Just be sure to give Commander Rylon an honorable death, it's the least we can do. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. I'll be sure to thank him before I kill him. At your discretion, Apprentice, but that won't be necessary. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. An apprentice's work is never done. Be glad of that. When I stop giving you work, you should be worried. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the arms factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. A Sith craves adventure and excitement. This mission promises both, my lord. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the arms factory the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Ryden, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. Makes no difference to me. I'm hard pressed not to agree. But there is one thing you should note. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. They're practically dead. The Empire's cause here on Balmora will be greatly advanced once they're gone. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comic. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran Arms Factory is a smoking husk, my lord. So we're in this episode right here. Next time we get to the Balmoran Arms Factory. Till then, peace.